He was screaming in pain and yelling on him to stop, but he wasn't listening you. He was not in his senses. Anger took over his mind. He was thirsting in you without pausing for a second. He was crying for help and cursing him, but nothing was working to stop him. But your every move was making him more angrier. You dug your nails in his back, but then he slapped you on the face. Ryan, you leave me. I'm not your slave. You bastard, let me go. You was cursing on him while struggling to let free yourself. You was pushing him when he pinned your hands above your head and said, "I will show you what I can do and what you are to me." You made a huge mistake, baby girl. Ryan, leave me once, then I'll show you I can do more. You deserve what I've done. He increased his pace and it made your screams louder than before. Rome was echoing with your painful screams but he was enjoying it. Your vagina was bleeding but he wouldn't care. He bit one of your twins harder which made you yell in pain but it made him satisfied so he squeezed the other one. Then he spanked on one of them. Tears were absorbing in your hair. and your screams could be listened out of room he bit your earlobe and then pinched you to torture you more you was in extreme pain your throat was completely dried out because of constantly crying and yelling it's been more than 20 minutes but he was still thrusting in you with incredible speed your body was exhausted and your soul was injured along with your body He took out his little friend for some second and you thought it's done now but no you saw him smirking after some second he stabbed you with his little friend but with extreme force you yelled in extreme pain your body couldn't endure this all torture anymore and you blacked out when he saw you no movements in your body and no struggle from you his smile fainted He looked on your face for some second and got up of bed. Covering you with quilt, he went to bathroom. Three girls were walking on the street talking to each other. One of them was you. You three were best friends, Tina, Mary, and Wyatt. You were going back home from office while enjoying chit-chat with your besties. You was wearing a body contrast. Your slim and tall legs were half naked. You all stopped on signal when Tina said, "You know, today Luca bent down to pick up the file, but suddenly he farted." Then he said, "It wasn't me. It was Tina." Listening Tina, you and Mary laughed along with Tina. People around you looked in your direction in confusion, but when they saw you, most of men forgot to take their eyes off of you. Hey young spewy I was going back home in my car driver was driving and I was sitting on back seat I was thinking about some fun at night because life was getting really poor nowadays I took out my phone and dialed Molly's number Molly is a lady who is the owner of Brothel I put phone on my ear and was waiting for Molly to pick up the call when I glanced on street but i forgot to take my eyes off of her there were many girls and boys standing on signal but my eyes just caught her she was a proper beauty her long slim legs were looking appealing to me i hung up the call and asked driver to stop the car he stopped the car i stepped out of car and walked to her but light turned red and she started crossing the road i went behind her after some steps i reached near her Reaching near her, I stopped in front of them. She and other girls with her got confused. Ignoring them, I asked her directly, "Hey, beauty, can I ask you something?" "Why? What? And do I know you?" She was looking confused and annoyed. "No, you don't know me, and I wanted to ask you, do you have a boyfriend?" "Why? No, I don't. Why you are asking?" I felt happy listening her answer. 
It's not hard for me to took any girl on my bed within minutes because I am a mafia leader. But I don't know why I wanted to talk to her and want to see her smiling, laughing and talking comfortably with me like she was doing with her friends. Looking in her beautiful deep eyes, I asked, "Can I take you with me? I mean, I want to spend some good time with you." Suddenly her face turned red and without saying anything she turned around to leave when I held her hand. She turned back and slapped me on my face. I was freezed on my spot for some second. My mind couldn't understand what just happened, but then anger took over me. I clenched her hair in my hand, which made her groan in anger. "Let me go or else I'll call police." she shouted and her friend came near me. They were trying to free her from my grip, but I pushed them both away. It was the first time someone slapped me and my ego wasn't allowing me to go easy on her. I put her on my shoulder and strolled to my car. She was struggling but I'll teach her lesson. Sitting in car, I asked driver to take us to my other apartment. Driver took us there. That apartment was not in my daily use and was near. I couldn't wait to punish her. The whole time in car she was shouting and yelling for help but I won't let her go easily. Car stopped and I took her out and dragged her in my apartment. Wayne Spiovi Everything was good till he came. He was handsome but still in my life boys are not allowed. I promised myself 2 years ago that I will never trust a man. I used to love my childhood friend Adam and according to Adam he was also in love with me but i found the truth when he took me in a bar sitting with him i felt i need to pee telling adam i went to restroom when i came back adam was busy on his phone his back was facing me music wasn't very loud so i could hear him he was talking to someone but when i heard him i felt sky fell on me He was laughing after saying, "Don't worry, bro. Once she will totally drunk, I will inform you. Then you can have her for the whole night. She's a real beauty." I took two steps back. How he could even think about this? He always said he loved me, but why he is doing this to me? I was about to leave when I heard him saying, "Dude, I'm sure you will love her. So if you will like it, then I won't repay you your $500." It means he's selling me for $500. Tears fell from my eyes but I wiped them harshly and ran out of bar. After that day I promised myself not to fall in love with anyone and not to trust any man. And when Taeyong held my hand I felt disgusted by his touch and I slapped him on his face. After coming from bathroom he looked at you. You were still unconscious. Tears were dried on your face. Eyes were swollen and then he saw blood on bed spreads. He went near bed and looked closely to blood stains. Then he lifted up quilt from your legs and felt embarrassed, looking blood all over your legs and on your vagina. He got up and took bowl of hot water and a towel from bathroom. After cleaning your legs and between your legs, he applied ointment. After done with you, he got up of bed and walked in balcony. He hit his hand on a wall in anger. Why I did this? I should have controlled my anger. Why I ruined her life? Night passed, but you didn't woke up. He spent it whole night sitting near you on bed while holding your hand, looking your pale face. He started feeling worried about you. He splashed water on your face, but you didn't open your eyes. He made you wear his clothes and call doctor. Doctor came within twenty minutes. After checking you, doctor caught up and said, "Mr. Tayong." Her condition isn't looking good. I think this happened because of some kind of shock or torture. Damn. Then when she will be awake? He asked hurriedly. I can't say anything about this. Maybe it will take more than 24 hours. It depends on patient's will. I am giving her injection. I hope she will be fine soon. After giving you injection, doctor left. Damn again came near you and said, I'm sorry I don't know your name but I'm really sorry I know I ruined your life but I promise I will always be with you I never thought about any other girl I never went behind any girl you was the one and only but your behavior made me angry and I lost my temper 
प्लीज वेक अप आई वॉन्ट टू अपॉलोजाइज टू यू आई वॉन्ट टू बैक यू फॉर फॉर गिवनेस प्लीज वेक अप ही स्टेयर रोल डाउन फ्राम हिज आईज ही प्लेस्ड अ जेंटल किस ऑन योर फोर हैंड टाइम वॉज रनिंग बट यू वॉज स्टिल अनकॉन्शियस इट्स बीन मोर दैन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स बट यू डिड एंड वोक अप दे यंग डिड एंड लेफ यू अ लोन फॉर अ सेकेंड ही डिड एंड ईट और ड्रिंक एनी थिंग यू वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली स्टेयरिंग एट योर फेस एट इलेवन पी एम यू ओपन योर आईज दे यंग वॉज स्टिल सिटिंग विद यू योर हैंड वॉज इन हिज हैंड हिज आईज वर क्लोज वन यू सॉ हिम नियर यू यू फेल स्केयर यू पुल योर हैंड एंड गॉट अप ऑफ बैड Because of this sudden movement, Taeyong flinched and opened his eyes. But when he saw you, his eyes sparkled. He got up of bed and was about to come near you when you said, "Don't come! Don't come near me! Stay there!" Your whole body was hurting, but still you tried to stand still. Taeyong, please just listen to me for once. I want to tell you something. I am ashamed for what I have done to you. Just give me a chance. He was requesting you. He took a step towards you when you saw at your back there was a door of balcony opening the door you rushed to balcony railing of balcony wasn't too high you looked down it was really high there don't go there please come in i promise i will never touch you no mister i don't think there is anything left to talk I saved my purity 2 years ago but you didn't even thought for a second before disflowering me that's why I hate men they just want one thing from girls last night i experienced hell with you tayong i know i was wrong i accept this please forgive me i beg you his tears rolled down why never i will never be able to face my own self you said you were sorry right you wipe your tears and your lips curve into a smirk Tayo, yes, I am sorry. I am ashamed of my behavior. Vaan, then I want you to live your life that way. I want you to feel guilty for your rest of your life. I want you to feel the pain I experienced. I want you to suffer your whole life. Tayo, don't say that, please. I think I love you. Vaan, what you said? You love me? Really? But I hate you. I hate you, Mister. Live a happy life. Saying that with a smirk, you jumped from balcony. Your tears were shedding in air, and before taking your last breath, you heard him saying, "I love you." The end. Please like, share, and subscribe.